Namaste, welcome to NPTEL online certification course on geographic information systems. I am Chandan, PhD student in Ranbir Anchitragupta School of Infrastructure Design and Management. In this particular module, we are going to see how we can use GIS as a software and this particular hands-on will uh, take us to the geo server and its application, how to uh, add a raster into geo server and integration of SLD in geo server. So, today we are going to see the task 2 which is publication or publishing raster file, task 3 creating WMS layer using QGIS, creating SLD file and how to integrate this SLD file into geo server, applying various different styles and finally, viewing multiple uh, layers in geo server. So, in the previous uh, class we had seen uh, how to publish a vector file. So, in this class uh, we will see how to publish a raster uh, data. So, for doing that you need to go to the website uh, or the local host uh, where your geo server is stored. So, the address is localhost uh, hyphen uh, sorry colon 8080 is the port which is given during the installation of geo server and forward slash geo server forward slash web. This is the home address of geo server. So, once you go to the home uh, of geo server you need to log in with the uh, username and password. By default the username is admin and password is given as geo server. So, once you give username and password you can just click on login. So, in the welcome uh, or the home page you can see how many layers are present, how many stores are there and how many workspace are there. Out of these uh, many of them are already existing uh, workspaces which is the, called as the default workspace. In the previous uh, geo server hands on we had created a workspace by the name district in which we have added uh, the vector shape file. Uh, by the name uh, Mysore district roads. So, let us just try to preview that one. So, in under the data uh, menu tab you have layer preview. So, if you click on this, so here you can see at the bottom uh, just browse to the uh, bottom and you can see district roads clip. So, that is the uh, road layer which we had given. If you want to see that you can click on open layers. So, this will take you to the uh, vector shape file which uh, we had published in the uh, last uh, class. So, now let us see how to add a raster into uh, geo server. For doing that as usual uh, we need to uh, first create store. Now, please remember once you create a workshop for a particular location let us say you are working on uh, Pune then you do not have to again create one more workspace that particular single workspace can uh, hold various layers. So, here I am not creating one more workspace, I am keeping the district work workspace as such. So, I am directly going to add stores. So, once you click on stores, you can say add new store. So, here you can see uh, there are various different vector data sources and raster data sources. So, now what we are going to add is the rainfall interpolated map for Mysore district that we had performed in our QGIS hands on session. So, I am going to press GeoTIFF that is nothing but tagged image file format. Once you press on that, you have to give some basic information about the raster data source. So, here the workspace to which it belongs is district and uh, data source name I am giving it as interpolation description. If you want you can give it as rainfall interpolation map of Mysore. And for the connection parameters just like we connected for the vector data here also you need to browse to the local uh, directory where you have kept the data sets. So, I have kept it in D, I will go to D and here you can see uh, data sets for NPTEL under that in the raster or uh, in the outputs uh, we have something called as interpolation clip. This is the interpolated map which was clipped for Mysore district. So, I am going to uh, browse for that and then say save. So, now once you click on save it will be added as a new layer, but it will also uh, ask whether you want to publish that particular layer or not. Now, you can press on publish. So, once 
uh, before finishing the publishing action, you need to edit the layer with uh, uh, the other information which is required to publish. So, here uh, under the edit layer, uh, basic resource info you can give this and once you come down, uh, if you want you can give all this abstract and the other information. So, in the coordinate reference system you can see it is belonging to 32643 EPSG code that is nothing but WGS ATM, uh, <coughs> excuse me, WGS 84 and uh, universal transfers market are, uh, this is the kind of projection zone number 43 north. And after that you can say uh, bounding boxes are already there. So, if you want to uh, take it from the data, you can just click on compute from data and compute from native bounds, so that it can uh, take the extents from the already existing uh, um, the uh, raster layer. So, then uh, you also have coverage band details and minimum and maximum range. So, once you uh, look at all these things, you can just press save. So, this particular raster has been now called into geo server and has been added under the store. And now, if you want to preview this, you can directly go to layer preview and here at the bottom you can see under uh, the uh, district uh, geotiff coverage. So, this is uh, a geotiff coverage file. So, here you can say open layers. So, now you can see the raster has been added. So, if you want to change the name of this particular uh, layer that is also possible because at the left it is appearing as geotiff coverage. If you need to change this you can again once again go to uh, layers and you can come to the bottom and here you can see uh, geotiff coverage you can click on that. So, now the name section here by default it is taking geotiff coverage. So, instead of that I am just giving it as interpolation. So, title also you can give it as interpolation and then you do not have to change anything else you can just say save. So, now if you go to layer preview directly you can see at the bottom the name will be changed from uh, uh, coverage to interpolation here you can see that. So, this is how we add a raster data into geo server. Next what we are going to do is we will look at how to add or create a WMS that is nothing but a web mapping service uh, layer using QGIS. So, for doing that I am going to start uh, QGIS interface here uh, we are using QGIS version 3. So, you can just uh, open the QGIS version 3.4. So, the whole idea is to uh, create a layer or its style in uh, QGIS and how we can save that particular style and how to bring that into uh, geo server interface uh, with the help of QGIS. So, once you open uh, the QGIS interface, so here let us uh, try to add uh, the rainfall uh, shape file which we had seen in the our previous uh, examples. So, go to add layer, add vector layer and here you can uh, browse to the folder where we have kept our uh, data sets. So, you can choose rainfall.shp and then say open and click on add. This is how we add a vector layer then say close. Now, let us say I need to change this particular color. So, what I will do is I will right click on uh, rainfall, I will go to properties. In the properties tab under the symbology, uh, here we can uh, easily change the color. Uh, if you want to take any of the uh, standard colors or uh, any variants, you can just choose it. For example, here let me just select pink color. Once you have chosen the color, you can just uh, choose the size as well. So, if you think this is very small size, I will keep it as 3.5 and once that is done you can say apply. Then you can see the points has been taken the color which has been specified. Now, if you want to save this particular style, you can go to style and then you can click on save style. So, here 
save style as a QGIS uh, XML style file. So, click on that you have to save it as a SLD that is nothing but styled layer descriptor. So, once you click on that it is asking for where to save just browse wherever you want to uh, save this particular file. So, here I am putting it in uh, the data sets uh, folder I will call this as rainfall underscore style and then say enter. So, rainfall style has been taken. So, you can click on ok and then say ok. So, now you can see this particular uh, file has been saved as SLD. Now, let us see how to add uh, this rainfall data into the geo server and then how to uh, give the style layer descriptor. So, what you need to do is you need to go to uh, geo server and under the data tab you have stores. So, since we have already created the workspace, I am not going to create any workspace this time. I will directly go to stores and I will go to add new store. So, whenever you need to add a vector or a raster, you have to create a new store. So, now what I am going to add is a shape file. So, I will under the vector data sources, I will select shape file. So, it is asking for the workspace, I will select it as district. Data source name, I will give it as rainfall so here the description is rainfall point data then under the connection parameters what i'll do is i'll go to browse and here uh, from the d drive and data sets in the vector i'll select rainfall which is at the last, I will select rainfall.shp and then say save. Once you save the vector, it is asking for uh, whether it is to be published or not. So, here I can say publish. So, once you select publish, it will take you to the edit layer tab where you need to provide some other information as well. If you want to add any kind of additional abstract information, you can add it here or you can directly go down here you need to say compute uh, bounding boxes from the data. So, it will take uh, the UTM coordinates then lat long coordinates you can compute from native bounds. You can see minimum x, minimum y, maximum x and maximum y that is nothing but the latitude and longitudinal extents. Once you have done this the next uh, uh, thing what you need to do is under the publishing tab you need to assign the styles for this particular layer. So, the styling which uh, we saved was uh, from the QGIS that particular thing we can up upload here. So, you can just uh, come down and under the default style you can choose uh, the one which is ok. Uh, since we have not yet saved the style it is not appearing. So, as of now we will proceed with the default uh, style and at the bottom I will just say save. Now, if I go to uh, layer preview, so here I can see uh, there is this point data that is the shape file. You can click on open layers to view it. So, it is by default taking red color, but what we did in QGIS was pink color with uh, 3.5 size. So, now let us see how to uh, import that particular uh, style layer descriptor into QGIS. So, to import style layer descriptor you have to go to under the data tab styles. So, here you need to click on add a new style. So, name for that new style will be rainfall style and workspace to which it belongs is district and format is SLD. So, here there is one more option called add legend. If you want to add any kind of legend that is also possible you can add it here. Uh, as of now I am leaving it blank. Format is SLD that is nothing but uh, style layer descriptor. So, here under the style content I am choosing the third option upload a style file. If you have already existing style you can choose any one from generate default style or existing style. Since uh, this we are uh, relying upon the QGIS uh, we, uh, we are going to choose that particular file. So, once that is done you can go to D drive where you have saved it as uh, SLD file under the data sets 
uh, you have rainfall style dot sld i will just open this once you open you have to click on upload so once you say upload now you can see in the style editor tab the code has been uh, taken so here you can see the stroke width and all if you want to change you can change here also if you want to change the color for example here the color is 232323 that, that is in terms of uh, hexadecimal that is hashtag rrggbb so the pink color which we have given it is taking 232323 if you want to change you can change here also once that is loaded you can say validate so no validation errors then you can say apply so it is successfully applied once it is applied you can say submit now uh, the new style has been created as rainfall style okay so now let us try to put this particular style into our already existing layer so for doing that you need to go to layers and at the bottom you have this uh, rainfall shape file so click on the rainfall it will take you to the edit layer tab under publishing you can select un, uh, publishing tab browse down so under wms setting you can select uh, the recently created rainfall style that is nothing but district uh, rainfall style so here you can see it is by default taking uh, whatever we created in qjs that is nothing but pink colored and 3.5 uh, is your size so uh, available styles also you can select you can just double click on district rainfall so on to the right you can see selected styles once the style is chosen you can directly go down and say save now you can go to layer preview to view that particular style whether it has come or not and in the rainfall you can say open layers so now you can see the rainfall has taken the values of uh, whatever color you specified in qgis so this is how we uh, create a wms layer using qgis or and sld and then bring the sld to uh, geo server so the next uh, task is to uh, upload multiple layers and view multiple layers simultaneously so for doing this what we are going to do is uh, we'll go to the geo server menu tab uh, so far what we have done is we have uh, taken a, a shape file at in the task 1 we took the uh, roads shape file and in the task 2 we imported or we published the interpolation file which is a raster and lastly we also imported a vector again and we applied the wms uh, uh, sorry we applied the sld so all these three layers let us group it together and uh, see how it appears in geo server so i am going to layer groups so here in the layer groups you can say add uh, new layer group so name for that layer group would be i'll give it as mysore underscore layers and title also i'll keep it same so here in title i'll put it as mysore layers and in the abstract i'll give it as uh, mysore layers consisting of roads interpolated map and rainfall data so abstract you can give as per your uh, wish and then here you can say workspace so i'll choose it as district and once the workspace has been selected you don't have to uh, give the bounds now only uh, by default it will take once you uh, upload what layers you need so you can just go to add layer and uh, you can add the layers whichever you want so here uh, there are uh, uh, three uh, different layers so let us add it one by one first i will add it as district road clip so now you can see here at the bottom it has been added next i'll add one one more that is interpolation and one more layer that is rainfall so all the three i will add one by one 
Now here one important thing is the layer has to be uh, in an order. So how to uh, put it in an order? First you need to put the raster, then line and then at the last we have to put the point. So here the uh, interpolation is it at the middle. So I am going to uh, draw this in the order to the top. So now interpolation is at the uh, first, then is road and then is rainfall. Now suppose let us say if you just um, make it in the other sequence. So what happens is uh, on the interpolation map your rainfall and roads will come and sit. So that you can never see it because interpolation map will be sitting on top. So drawing order you just uh, be careful first you need to in the first you need to put interpolation map or raster then road layer and then rainfall that is point layer. Now once all the three uh, layers are uh, taken to the layer grouping then you can uh, go here and say generate bounds. Uh, so directly it will generate the bounds from the data which you have added and it is also showing the EPSG code correctly. So now you can verify that and then say save. So once you save this, you can see in the layer groups, Mysore layers layer group has been created under the workspace district. Now let us see how this layer group together will appear in Geo server. So to view that, I will go to the menu under the menu data, layer preview. So here uh, at the bottom, you can see uh, this particular symbol which is in green color. This is for layer groups, Mysore layers in the workspace of district. So I am going to open layers and open this. So now you can see first there is a raster, on top of a raster there is a road and on top of road you have the rainfall.shp that is nothing but the vector. So this is how we visualize and we also we can take the SLD from QGIS and finally we can also see how to display multiple layers in Geo server. So this particular thing can be taken to your uh, web page. Uh, this is what uh, Bhuvan uses uh, as a backend. Bhuvan and various other websites use GeoServer. So GeoServer applications can be seen in various other websites. So so far we have seen how to publish a raster file and uh, how to uh, integrate the uh, style layer descriptor into the GeoServer interface. And uh, finally, we have seen uh, also how to uh, put multiple layers and uh, I was also speaking about uh, uh, what should be the order of uh, arranging first it should be a raster then line and then points uh, and then we can visualize uh, the uh, integration of uh, the three layers and we also saw uh, the styling and importing the styling in Geo server and finally viewing all these things together. So this is the end of uh, the Geo server session. I hope that you are clear with the concepts of uh, QGIS and Geo server and I wish you all the best for your uh, future. Uh, so here we come to the end of hands on session. Thank you very much.